Hello and welcome back to another video. So, you know that saying, it never rains but it pours? Well, yeah, that pretty much sums up this place at the moment because it is another day and it is another issue. Um, you might see here behind me the yearlings. They're incredibly dirty. Now, they just seem really unsettled so they're constantly popping themselves. They're still very loose, even though we gave them the dose, unless now it'll just take that bit longer for it to kick in. But you can see them there, they're filthy, but also they've, some of them have really dirty noses. So um, dad was on to the vet um, just to get his thoughts and they think maybe it's just the start of pneumonia. So we're going to get them out of here today I'm going to inject them and um, hopefully we'll see an improvement. I'll have to inject them then in another couple of days and hopefully after that they should be okay. There's no panting or anything like that. It really is just the noses, but the limousine heifer is the worst. She's at the back there. She's actually bulling as well, which isn't helping. So they were extremely unsettled last night, but I assume that's what that was. But they just haven't really settled at all since they've come in. And I think that has a lot to do with why they're so dirty. Um, plus the fact that they're so loose. So they're lying down on the dirt and then they're constantly moving around and kind of shoving each other. There you go. Um, Mikey! Um, thankfully we have the mats so there is a lot of extra grip because if the place was that wet inside there on the old concrete slats we could be in big trouble so at least we have that anyway. Um, so I mean you can probably see the cows there behind me they're all clean there's not there's hardly a bit of dirt on them and your man with the mats did say that they could be dirtier with the mats um, but the cows don't seem to be showing it at all. But these, I hate looking at them that dirty. But look, it is what it is. I don't know, is it all connected or what? But I'm waiting on Dad now. He's going to come down with the vials of stuff. Rob is here as well, just in case they start acting up. And we'll get them out into the crush and hopefully get them sorted today. Now, this is what I'm giving them. So, Maxoject. Uh, so they'll each get 50 mils, so the vet just recommended two lots of 25. Just move the needle, basically. So, as you can see, I have four lots of them, plus the one injection, because we were just going to give the heifer, um, the limousine heifer, it. But then Dad spotted that another couple of them didn't look right. So we're going to give it to all of them, so they're not going to love me after this, but hopefully it'll it'll clear up the issue anyway. Now, the plan to start with here was to get the heifer out on her own, because when she's bullying, I didn't want them acting up in the crush, um, because I always get a bit nervous when they start jumping on each other, but that did not work. So Mikey came out with her, and then Mikey ended up going first up the crush, so that was fine. I just separated them. So he was a good boy. Didn't catch his head, but that's all right. Ignore the way I'm putting the needle in. I know it looks a bit funny, but it's just because I was afraid of breaking the needle in them. So that's just why it looks like that. So you'll see Rob is there with me as well. Um, we had a system going. So while I was injecting, he'd go with the empty ones. Dad would refill them. We'd let them out get the next ones in so it just sped up the process a little bit and everyone was doing their bit so I'll show you these guys now and that'll be it.
now we've that job done I went away and had a fry up uh, at home uh, afterwards because it is bitterly cold here this morning but um, it's done and I came back and they're all settled very strange uh, as dad said we need to give them a shot of it again tomorrow quieten them but you'll see we've put the in calf heifer in here with special um, just because we want to up this lot's uh, meal so special will also be upped but she'll just get it in a bucket and there's no way Isabella is going to be able to bully her out of it so she's going to be getting about 6 kg a day now special the ones here in the middle will go up to three for maybe the bones of a week and then we'll up them again probably to four and see how we go and uh, hopefully they'll be feeling a bit better in themselves but it's nice to see them relaxed anyway they're all lying there chewing the cud anyway which is good and um, Jimmy at the very back there you can barely see him his nose is very dirty right now he's the only one that I noticed with a dirty nose this morning as well and um, the limousine heifer seem to be fine but look hopefully now those injections will do the job and um yeah look if they don't in another two or three days we'll have a look again but maybe we'll just pick out the ones that don't seem so good um but yeah look hopefully we've caught it before it do does turn into pneumonia or whatever it is anyway um hopefully it's nothing major so the next thing i'm going to do before i feed them all is just clean out the calves at the back there and i'll show you the little setup that we've done for them there their little bedroom back there so i'll do that next and we'll go from there <laughs> I have everyone feeding there, so I'm just in the slats with the yearlings. Um, I'll try and show you the setup. I don't know why I put the camera that high up, sorry. Uh, I'll try and show you the setup here, but the two calves are just lunatics. Now, when I was scraping out in here, I noticed that the limousine calf there had a dirty nose as well. So I brought the two of them out and gave them a shot as well um, just to be on the safe side uh, it might be nothing but I don't want to take any chances so down here you'll see they have their straw bed but what I did was underneath that straw is just the off cuts from the rubber mats uh, for the slats I had a few lengths and it pretty much goes as far as the slats not quite, if I had one more, it would have been perfect. Um, so I just put them down there because I thought it might be a little comfier for them, plus the straw on top of it to keep them nice and warm. But sure, what are they doing? Eating it instead of lying on it. I came in a few days ago and I said, where is the straw gone? It can't be gone that quickly. And I was assuming that the cows were sticking the head under the gate to try and get at it. So this time I put it tight to the wall so that they can just lie there, but sure. No, it's the calves themselves. And, oh, two seconds, this is a tight squeeze for me. Um, they have silage up here. So, and I actually went in and pushed them up so that they knew it was here. But uh, they seem to prefer the straw for some reason. So look they'll have to put up with it when they have nothing nice to lie on later but at least they have the rubber underneath them anyway so this is something my dad made um can't remember if i showed it earlier in the year or not but he just made it out of an old pallet he took off a few pieces and moved around a few other pieces so it just means that they can come up to here and stick the head out and feed. So I just gave them a bit of nuts there as well. I'm just training them to it. So just gave them half a kg each or a 
kg between them or just under it and in fairness the two of them cleaned it so that was great um, it's nice when they're when you know they'll eat it while they're still on the cow so I'll probably just keep giving them that little bit uh, every day it won't do them any harm and then when they're done with that I throw in the bit of silage at the moment they're eating they won't eat the whole lot but they'll eat nearly a wheelbarrow of silage between the two of them a day plus they're on the cows so hopefully that'll stand to them that look the gob full below and she's some lovely silage up here but anyway what can you do and um, they're all on their extra bit of meal now as well out here so it's just taking that little bit longer for them to get through it but that's okay and um, poor Isabella is not happy because she's getting none she was trying to reach the head in over to the others but it didn't work but special is getting through her nuts there so this is the setup here at the moment special head in the bucket Isabella isn't getting a look in and then oh I think they've pretty much gone they were quick getting through that considering there is five of them now instead of six the limousines of course have half it on the ground here so I'll try and push that in with the silage and um, don't want the rats coming in for it but um, that's it down here um, I'm going to go up to the weanlings above now they're very happy outside to be honest they're great and um, anytime I go up now they're running to me which is lovely but and should hopefully make things easier when I'm moving them I'd say I'll probably leave them where they are for a week and then bring them down below or down above my house for another week or two then and then they'll be inside and hopefully special will be gone at that stage to be honest they're probably healthier outside um, anyway so honestly it's probably selfish reasons that I want them in <laughs> it's because it's a bit of a trek up there in the evenings now when it's dark and wet and cold and I don't love going up there and I can't go up there in the gator because it's so wet um, so it just it would be easier for me to be honest if they were in the shed but look they seem to be happy and healthy out there apart from the one with the bad leg but what can I do about that at this stage so I'll feed these I might just go up give you a look and I'll finish this video there then now I've them fed there it's absolutely wild you can see them there they've made an awful idiot out of me though because only three of them will eat out of the truck and then three of them I have to feed on the ground so but look as long as they're getting it that's the main thing it's absolutely wild up here so I won't delay you might not be able to hear what I'm saying at all but they're all doing fine I'd like to give them a dose but we're now too close to the dose or the testing time so I think they're okay anyway like there's no signs of coughing or anything like that they're just a bit dirty um, but the wet grass doesn't help either uh, I'll have a look now when I up the meal as well for them uh, they probably won't be as loose but they seem to be happy out up here when I came up they were all lying down over by the trees so that's a good sign I'm gonna leave it there my next video will probably be a TV update just to let you know I suppose what happened from that Saturday that was exactly three weeks ago now today that we got the reactor to be honest it really knocked the wind out of my sails I haven't done much on the farm over the three weeks as a result I suppose just not that I wasn't interested but I just didn't have the enthusiasm that I normally did but do you know what today I went back into the house for the breakfast that time and I was like geez you know it's the first time I've I think I've enjoyed the farm in three weeks which is unusual <laughs> um, but it's good that I'm getting back into it and look I know there's nothing I can do now if they have it they have it and I just it doesn't stop me from worrying but I do know I can't do anything about it so I just need to get on with things but look the next video I'll just give you a bit of an idea on the process afterwards um, and then my views and opinions on the whole thing I suppose because I think everybody has an opinion on TV 
So I'm gonna leave it there. It was a long day on the farm now today, so I'm looking forward to a fish and chips dinner this evening with mom and dad for his birthday. Uh, so I'm gonna go in now and get changed and get ready for that. But um, thanks very much for watching again, as always. And if you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.